All right, welcome back to another American Reacts. Back in the AFL arena, we have Mason Cox, Don't Believe and Never. And I believe this is a sort of, you know, short documentary about an American playing in the AFL. So much about it, but I've seen that you guys left a lot of comments. This comes from your guys' suggestions. So thank you again for the views, the comments. Great community so far. Loving the AFL learning about it day by day and uh, trying to cover a lot of different topics and videos. And I'll say it again, this sport is awesome. It's one of the OGs. It's over 160 years old. Really feel like it needs to have an even bigger world platform. So uh, let's do this. When Mason came to us, no American player had ever played a senior game of AFL footy. It's a one in whatever you want to call it because no one had ever done it. Wow. So he's one of the first or the first. From Island Village, Texas. He's only played six minutes all year. <laughs> I went to Oklahoma State University. So I started out playing basketball when I was a Oklahoma freshman. Oklahoma State, cool. I've never picked up a basketball in my life, really. We played at the Rec Center, and there was a GA at the women's team, and she asked, would you be interested in helping out? Pretty much called the Dream Team, and they played against the women's team and practiced other teams and played against them. I was huh. like, yeah, cool. Like, what do I get out of it? And she goes, oh, we'll give you a free pair of shoes and maybe some kit. And I was like, sweet. The there you go. Team, <laughs> so with That's the pretty cool. Team. One of the coaches said, who's that massive dude who's playing with the women's team? Like, why don't we have someone like that? I was in way over my head. <laughs> I could make a layup, and I was just a body bag. We got a call. They wanted me to go to L.A. to try out for this thing called AFL, of Aussie Rules Football. And we both looked at each other and was like, what the hell is that? And it comes up and huh. it's like AFL's biggest hits. By the way, that's on my list. Biggest hits are something exciting in a lot of sports and definitely a big part of the sport. So that will be coming. But uh, a quick pause here. So that, that's pretty interesting that they had that dream team kind of trained the actual women's team. That's an interesting concept. But uh, I assume maybe he just wasn't the best, even though he was really tall. But that'd be interesting, right? Getting a call come to California, we're going to try an AFL. And he's like, what the hell is that? This is getting interesting quick. Oh, man, those hits. Brutal. Brutality, man. laughing and going, is this really a sport? <laughs> I had already accepted a six-figure paying job at ExxonMobil. So wow. I went to the trials. Everyone that was there was interested in myself. It became pretty serious pretty quickly. That week, I threw the cap in the air. You know, I got the degree on stage. Made my parents proud. A week later, I flew to Australia, and my life changed. What? No way. Okay, so that is pretty intense, guys. Graduated. Have a high-paying job lined up at Exxon Mobil, one of the biggest companies in the world. Ooh, and risking it all, kind of just sacrificing it all to fly across the world to Australia for a sport you don't even know about. The whole holy smoke! In Australia was just to give me a showcase of what AFL was. Saw my first AFL game, sat next to a North Melbourne player. He explained to me, you know, that's six points. That's a point. Hits the post. It's worth a point. You know, they pull oh my god, whenever they really mean that way. And at the end of it, I remember he goes, "Okay, cool. So these are the teams that are interested in you. Here's the contracts. Um, let me know what you think." Wow. The international rookies are whopping two. Magpies signed American college basketball player Mason Cox. So he got signed by the Magpies, which is Collingwood. Okay. That's the team that some people have said are a love or hate team. They're really good, I think. And some people love them. Some people hate them. I suppose suppose that was a great first step. I mean, he risked a established life here in America and flew across the world. I mean, that'd be scary, man. Playing a sport he's learning on the go. Whereas most of these guys are so passionate about AFL, the locals, and they've been playing since they were kids. That's what I've learned in, you know, talking to you guys. What a what a crazy story so far. 211 centimeters. The same Very tall. As Aaron Sanderlands. Looks quite Whew. exciting. All right. He's blowing up, man. I remember getting on the plane. I thought, uh -oh. what have I just done? Just yeah, <laughs> what have I done? Hard work and <laughs> thousands of dollars of education to oh go play God. a sport I've never heard of in a place I've never been with no friends or no family in, in Melbourne. That's intense, man. That's hella intense. But Just you know what? Sometimes out. the best things in life come from, from risks, man. Some things you do and it makes no sense on paper. No one will understand you. But you know what? It might pay off. 
it just might pay off and change your life. So hats off to him for having the courage to do this in the first place. It was uh, pretty much rugby ball. Like I had no idea the kangaroo skin and a Sharon is like the name of it. And I kangaroo know, like, skin. It was all so foreign to me when <laughs> I first started. He's kicking. His kicking was quite average. It was a crash course, essentially, of just what AFL was. Craig yeah. McRae and Anthony Rocker spent two and a half months with me and come around training the first day. It was sink or swim, really. Oh, man. You do this one drill, and you get a handball off to the coach. And, of course, Box is the one who you're handballing to. Go to handball to him. And I just remember looking at it, and I look back and going, OK, we've got a bit of work today. <laughs> oh, like, geez. Locked for a second. And I can just see in my mind, just what have we recruited? Oh man! Players generally had a lot going on, but Mason's still trying. What a, what a crazy scenario, right? He's there trying to learn on the fly with a bunch of experienced pro players. That coach is thinking, "What have we done? Right? Is this going to work, or is this a total bust?" I'm trying to work out this new game, whether it fits, if he fits. Am I embarrassing myself? But at the end of the year, I got to the point where I was thinking, I might actually feel comfortable in an AFL game. You know, he has two things to his advantage, though. He's really tall, right? That's the big thing that got eyes on him. But also, you know, he has something to prove, right? He is, he, he said it, he's in a sink or swim situation. And sometimes that is enough for someone to dig deep down into basically, you know, your own version of a superpower. Like you got to do it, man. You got to do it, do or die, basically. So he has that going for him. He's really got to make this work. Whereas other guys might be hungry and competitive and, and good at the game, but he has that kind of extra mile, that extra motivation that he really has to make this happen. Fox was the first one to tell me. Look at that you know, field. Debut, Spectacular, man. That week was a massive week. It's Anzac Day, obviously. So it's massive. Looks year. beautiful, too. The stadium is massive. It just the energy in there, the I tell you what, so man. That's challenging enough. I walked out there and... I was ready to puke. I was that nervous. I oh, I bet. Out, you know, I didn't know what to do. And I was thinking, don't screw up. Just whatever you do, don't screw up. Don't screw yeah. up. Yeah. Sports is, is a lot of mental game, though. Got to be confident. Oh, mate, he's shitting himself. And I can't imagine what it's like to try and drop the ball that extra foot and a half to get it onto your foot. My hands would have been like this, holding that ball. Oh, so, man. Okay, come on. Here we go. First kick into the, the uprights, and we're good. All right. There you go. There you go. Good for him, man. That, that didn't happen. Not that we needed to keep him grounded, but it was our job to keep him grounded. Yeah. That it's missed, right? Yeah, it's a big step from the VFL footy oh, that no. he's playing to playing AFL footy. At He's getting some 17. some That's haters, some felt, scrutiny you know, now. Gotten dropped a few times. We we're playing small. He had to set himself a new goal of being one of the best forwards in the competition. Yeah, you got to aim high, man. Can't just survive. You got to be one of the best. Oh, elbow! Damn. I that pretty comfortably. I don't think I had a single mark the whole game, and had maybe six touches or something and get suspended for the next week. Probably a low moment in my life, I'd say, of thinking, do I choose the right decision? Oh, geez. So let me get this straight. He got suspended probably for that elbow or something like that, right? So that's already a tough blow. And then having a bad game or two, can't catch the ball. I mean, think, I think we've all been there in any sport where no matter how good you are, sometimes you just you just got nothing. Like nothing works. Your hands don't work. You know, you're tripping on yourself. You can't catch the ball. Got to maintain confidence. Sports are so mentally tough. Like you got to be tough and rise above because it's easy to just give in to, oh my God, I'm going to panic. I, I can't do anything right. Jeez. Getting a lot of uh, scrutiny, man. Oh, man. Said, you Yikes. Know what? This is a last ditch effort to show them what you're worth. To Gotta show ignore the haters, man. Job. Gotta this rise above. You you're in control. Your life. You're in control. Don't listen to the haters. What a beast. It's white noise. This tiger has become on and off the field. 22 consecutive wins of the MCG. It's hard to get your head around it, to be honest. We'd played Richmond twice and been overrun twice through the year. Rich Imagine this is a high stakes game here. Prelim final MCG. Can't believe that field. I say it every time. I can't believe it. So cool. Look at how massive that is. All right.
His hands are on, mate. They, they, they just stuck. He's getting it now, man. Stepping up. Looking broad and confident. Get it, dude. Get it. Yes, he did. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Rise above, man. There you go. Could you wow, that's that amazing. Years, five years earlier with the guy that handballed over the top of my head. Um, <laughs> definitely not. Good for him, man. What a what an experience. He is rising above. setting limitations on others I think if you're motivated enough and you care enough or that determined to get to wherever you want to go it's it's possible good for you man hell yeah he's got the right mindset now that you quote can't write the script any better well you could have we could have won the grand final <laughs> imagine that story that was awesome man wow that was powerful at the end it, it got really deep right I, I'm proud of him dude he he rose above he faced a lot of hate, a lot of scrutiny, a lot of doubt. And he's in a foreign country. Everything's foreign about it. He's in a sport he's never even heard of like prior to this, right? Dang, what a what a story, dude. You guys weren't wrong when you said react to this. You know, something you can learn from that is exactly what he said. No matter what you think the odds are or if people are doubting you or looking down upon you, dude, you can do it. You can rise above. You got to be mentally tough. You got to have confidence and you got to work your ass off and you can do anything. You really can. And uh, good for him, man. I'm glad to see someone from America in the game. Uh, and that goes for any country. That is an awesome sport. Obviously, Australia is an awesome country, but uh, it's cool to see some other people mixed in there as well because that sport is cool and it, and it needs some, some global recognition, in my opinion. Uh, so the more Americans that can see this, and see also that a, an American young man like this got to rise above some crazy odds and get out there on that field and make stuff happen. Uh, that's awesome. You know, that's a great lesson for anyone, regardless of sport or country. We'll go ahead and throw a thumbs up on that one. And uh, let me know down below, of course, what you thought of this, what you know about Mason Cox. Trust me, there is a lot more to come with AFL. I'm, I'm super intrigued, and I still have a lot to learn I've already soaked up so much in a few days, but I still, I think I've only scratched the surface. I don't know a lot of things yet. So, so definitely comment down below what you thought, some more ideas and requests. I appreciate it. I appreciate big time. If you give me a thumbs up, of course, subscribe if you enjoy reactions like this. Much, much more to come multiple times per day. That's about it for this one, guys. My name is Ian. You are watching IW Rocker, and uh, we'll see you next time. Catch you later.